YouTube, Cool Eyes here, and today I'm going to be drawing different types of pet fish as cartoon characters. Like, as you can see, I already drew one, but um, I want to redraw her as I'm in this picture. I'm redrawing her in like a standing position. So um, her name. So I'm starting with the goldfish, the most common household household pet fish. So I named her Goldie Gillian, and I want her to be tomboyish. And I and she her design wasn't hard. I didn't know if I want her design was kind of hard, so I didn't know if I wanted to make her um, a mermaid at first or give her a fish tail because she was the first fish I was going to draw in the series. So I wanted to make her give her a, a fish um, body or just give her a human-like body with a fish tail. I decided a human-like body with a fish tail because it made her look more it's more up my alley as, a, as an artist so it was also hard to choose out i really want to give her a white dress and i was going to give her two um little fins in the back of her head as her hair but then i decided to give her um a, something more authentic to the fish look so i gave her a put her fin on top of her a giant fin on top of her head with fin ears and um I gave her, her, her color and her sweater is blue. I wanted to give make it white, but I made it blue at the end. So I feel like the color blue, I think the color blue matches more with the character. I don't know why. I think blue and yellow, just blue, yellow, and orange are just complementary colors. I think. And it, either way, it turned out really, really nice. Also, um, what else I was gonna say about her? I also the difference between I also wanted to give her not plain colors. I wanted to shade. I wanted to do like a lot of blend shading with this instead of cell shading. Usually when I draw cartoon characters, I use a lot of cell shading, but this time I decided to use um blend shading because I thought it would make it look more artsy for some reason. Let's see what else I was gonna say. I didn't really write notes of what I was gonna say like I usually do, so I'm just winging it right now. So, um, I want her side to be very baggy on her, because I, I imagine her very skinny. I want her side to be baggy, because I think it makes her look cute. The baggy sweater and the skinny legs, I think it looks adorable. I want her to look like hyperactive, sweet, cute, tomboy character. So, Goldie Gillian. And I made her personality. Her personality is, she's a, she wants, she lives in a school aquarium. She lives in, like, a school fish tank. And her dream is to go out and become a... And go out and explore the ocean. She's in a, she lives in a marine biology class. And next to her, this is her original goldfish design. It's the original goldfish over here. And then there's the character. Okay, next character. Next fish on my list is Tessa Stripes. So Tessa, I can imagine being Goldie's punk rock best friend. Tessa is supposed to be a zebra fish. And the average is a freshwater fish you can keep in the and uh, keep in a tank and stuff. It's a freshwater fish. And she's um she's kind of like um she's a punk rocker. She can she plays guitar, stuff like that. And her um design, um I didn't want to give her the, the fish face I gave um Goldie because a fish face is a master original fish. So I made her fish face a little bit ovalish with big lips. And uh, and while I was drawing the concept for her, her eyes. Her eyes are really hard to concept because I was drawing her on paper at first and um, her mascara looked like her eyeliner was too thick. But I wanted her to have thick eyeliner because she's a punk rocker and I love the black smoky eye look. And I didn't know what color to give her. I wanted to give her fully black because I designed her with a fully black outfit but at the end, uh, since the fish is like yellow, black, and gray, I decided to give her a yellow outfit to match her match her fins on, on her ears, her head, and her tail. I was basically copying the the factors of the fish and stuff. And um, the only thing I'm I don't really like about it is that I couldn't put the stripes in certain places I would like to because uh, it would make the picture look a little bit tacky and stuff, a little bit too crowded. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. 
But I didn't like that as I used a bright yellow. Like, it looks nice on her, but if I had to choose, like, a different color for a whole fish, it would have been... Yeah, I just don't like the boots at all. Like, the what bothers me is the boots, because I couldn't think of a better boot design that would match her. Match her outfit. I couldn't give her black, but it looked like I was blending in with the pants and stuff like that. It was very complicated. But I can't match her having, like, very shiny, silvery skin. But it's hard to make the silvery effect on my tablet because I didn't really learn how to do a silvery metallic look yet. So I just gave her regular gray skin for her fish scales. Uh, and I was thinking of naming her. I named her Tessa, but I was thinking of naming her Zenuda or Denuda. I don't know why. I just thought it was a cool name. I might name another character Denuda. But not in this video. But yeah, here's fishy fish number one. Number two, I mean. Number two. Tessa Stripes. Oh yeah. Her and her, her and Goldie have a really nice friendship. And the character she the next character we're gonna be presenting doesn't really get along with her. Like they're very they fight a lot. After the video finishes. See, zebrafish. That's the fish I copied. You can see the stripes everywhere and stuff. Whatever. Next is Beta Bluefin. Beta Bluefin was one of the, uh, is the only, is one of the first guy fish characters I drew. He is the first guy fish character I drew for the series. I can, and the beta fish, I had a pet beta fish where I'm, I based his personality off my old pet beta fish, um, beta, not beta, I named him, um, Chester, but Chester is my first beta fish I had, but he was red and not blue, I made this character blue, Chester is actually red, but he died a couple weeks later after I got him, and I was, I don't really remember much about him, because he was mean to me, how does a fish be mean, every time I try to talk to him, he'll turn his back, and every time I try to look at him, he turned his back. Every time I tried to feed him, he didn't even want to look at me. He, he's just me. He's just a grumpy fish. So I made, um... I made no stupid that I say because the fish turned his back. But why do you have to look at... Why do you turn back every time I look at you? Like, it was just me. He didn't look at me. He just looked away. So I based Beta off of that fish I had. It's not that I made him a little bit... Because the, but the fish picture I was copying, he was more like blue and red. Instead of just regular red. And beta fishes are known for their beautiful, beautiful tails and fins. Like, they have different types of fins and tails and stuff. And they're just beautiful. They also named the Siamese Fighting Fish. I don't know why. This was their, this was their original name is. But here we call them beta fishes. And he... And beta fishes are just beautiful. They're, but I, was met, I wanted to make him a girl at first. But then I realized um, beta fishes... Um, a beta fish's, um, fin, tails, the pretty tails and the pretty designs are usually on the males. So I wanted to make a main male character that's going to be a beta fish. My main character is going to be a beta fish. Might as well be true and make it a male. But if I were to design side characters, the females also have the pretty tails. I have a plan of making a, I might, next episode, I might draw a beta fish Mm, different types of beta fish, maybe. Oh yeah, I also gave him tattoos, and I made him punk rocker too, with the studded belt and the tattoos. So I want to make him a bad boy because my fish Chester was a, was mean. I can't let that go. He was just a mean fish. I fed him. I took care of him. Why was he so mean to me? But whatever. Here's beta bluefin. Siamese fighting fish or the beta fish. Yeah, I fucking admit, the fish is really pretty. That fish I found on the internet was very beautiful. Now, for a little bit of a fish character, I had a hard time designing. His name is... I, I forgot what I named him. I'll see at the end. We'll see at the end. But this fish is a boat... It looks more like an amphibian or a lizard to me. I, don't, I had a hard time designing him. So I wanted him to look different from the other fishes because I, had, I got tired of doing the same face shape over time. But the way I made him look, he looks like a lizard or amphibian man or something like that. He's supposed to be a green swordtail. His personality, I can imagine him being kind of like 
Meliodas and Seven Deadly Sins. If you don't watch the anime, you suck. But if you watch Seven Deadly Sins and you know Meliodas, that's pretty much his personality you can imagine. I can imagine him kind of carefree and kind of perverted a little bit. And except a little bit more annoying. I gave I wanted him to look like a kind of nineties ish though, so I gave him baggy pants and a tight T shirt. Looks like a skater boy to me. The other reason I made him a sword um sword tail green sword tail fish have like a only the males have this, like under their tail they have a like sharp thin harpoon thing. I don't know what it is, I didn't look it up. But they have like a sword bottom, so that's why it's called a sword tail. And well, if I had to redo the picture, I'll change the skin tone from like a mint green to like more of a grass green, like a light, very light grass spring green. Because um, I looked at the fish again. I didn't look at the fish reference, but I looked at the fish again. His green was a different shade of green, and I was not happy. And I was like, I didn't even feel like redrawing it. So also the the marks on his cheeks are supposed to be a reference to the. To the to the to the stripes on the original fish, and I just don't like the way this is like one of my least favorite ones that came out because I don't like the way he turned out. He just looks not fishy at all. It's annoying. He looks like an amphibian. But I'm not gonna redraw him anytime soon. I might redraw him one day, but not not anytime soon. What did I name him? Slim. I named him Slim. Uh, it's so obvious. He has a slim body. Why did I forget that? I'm mad I forgot that. His name is Slim Swimmer. See, he's a green sword tail fish. That's the fish I copied. You see, the green is different. I'm mad now. Next fish. Here's a fish I had a hard time designing. Mo a molly fish. Mollies are like, well, kind of like goldfish, but they're not goldfish. They look kind of like a goldfish. And while designing Molly, I named her Molly about the fish she was designed after. And I originally had a very hard time designing her. Shockingly. My first design her, I gave her like the same face I gave, um, same face shape I gave, um, Tessa. But it didn't look right. Every time I tried to draw an outfit on her, I didn't match her personality at all. One time I tried to give her a red and black dress. But it didn't look right. I want her skin palette to be, I want her color palette to be, because the Molly, a Molly can be any color, but I want her to be specifically yellow and black. So what well, contrasts to yellow and black would be red. So I want to give her a red dress, it didn't look right. So I gave her a red tie-up shirt and jean shorts, it didn't look right. It just made her look like one of those country body gals, I don't know. So then I tried again. And I went on the internet and looked up fashion designs from, from a website called Dolls Kill. That's where I got a lot of ideas for these fashions from the website Dolls Kill. I don't buy their clothes because they're way too expensive. But um, Dolls Kill has some interesting fashions. If you don't know what Dolls Kill is, I might link, a link, link the website into the description of this video. I might. I don't know if I'm going to. I always say I'm going to link something and I never do. But Dolls Kill has really good fashion, so I got, I got the shirt idea from Dolls Kill with the plaid shirt, plaid crop top. Then I thought of baggy jeans, because most of the characters I wear, I have, I have like a tomboyish vibe. All the girls I drew so far have like a tomboyish vibe to them. So I can, you know what, let me just draw baggy pants. And it looks really nice, actually. I was really happy with how it turned out. And then I gave her, instead of giving her the face I gave the other, I gave Tessa, I gave her... A circle face because um, that's how I usually draw my characters anyway, circular faces. And this one came out like just right for me. Like it's not my favorite one. My favorite one is Goldie and the, and Guppy. Another one I'm gonna show you later on. So this is, but it's one of the ones I'm most satisfied drawing. I was very satisfied with this the outcome of this picture. Molly, what's her last name? I got the last name I gave her. Molly something. Molly Dorfin. Yeah, Molly Dorfin. That's the fish I copied. The Molly. This one is going to be a baby fish. Because I like... Because, um, I, this one is a guppy. You don't know what a guppy is? A guppy is like... Everyone thinks a guppy is a baby fish, but it's just another species of small, very small fish. 
So the guppy's design, I wanted her to look um, cute and like a baby. I wanted to look like a little guppy fish. So not much of her personality I made up yet. All I know is that she's best one of one of um, Goldie's best friends. Because she's one of the characters I actually worked on his personality for, unlike some of the other ones. And, and a Guppy has a very beautiful tail. Like, the colors on the tail are just pretty. And it has really silvery skin. And I wanted to get for, like, a regular fin I did with everyone else. But I wanted her to make look more interesting. So I made her fin go to the side. Like, a like half-shaved look. But it's a fin instead of hair. It looks kind of like hair when I finish drawing her. But trust me, it's a, it's a, it's a fin. Is a is a top is a head fin. That's just look. But the fins are so pretty. Like the tail is so pretty. I make her hair look just as pretty as the fin. So a uh, tail fin. So I can match her silly like this. Hi, I'm Guppy. That's right. I'm a guppy fish. Don't worry. I'm not a baby. I can grow up and be a big fish. That's pretty much how I find her person that her sound for her voice to sound like. But anyway, here's Guppy. What did I name her last name again? I forgot what I named her last name. It's about to show up any second now after this timer goes down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you're wondering why there's different colors on her head, because um, that's what Guppy Fish's head looks like. They just have like different colors everywhere. And I think my teacher had a Guppy once. I don't know which teacher had a Guppy, but I think one of them had a Guppy. I gave her a blue dress that matches her fins. See, it's a guppy gillotin. Okay. Guppy gillotin. See what I mean? It has like a little bit of brownish oranges on the top, then a little bit of black, and the tail is just beautiful. The tail's pretty. Next, we have Daphne, the, the platy fish. A platy fish is like, I don't know what a platy fish is, but it's another fish you can keep as a pet, is all I know. So Daphne was another hard one I wanted to design. Because, for the love of God, I could not think of a design. Because she was like a pale yellow color. And I think of, like, usually when I have to make yellow characters, I usually put red on them. I didn't want to make her look too much like Molly. So it was really, or make them look like siblings. So it's really hard to make them look different enough for them not to be siblings, but for them to be a um, similar color palette. So for Daphne, I wanted her to be girly too. I, all my characters I drew so far were tomboyish looking, but I wanted them to look girly. So I wanted to get a skirt in somewhere, but the characters didn't look really good with skirts because of the way they looked. But then I decided, uh, I didn't look at dolls, I looked at my own wardrobe. Yes, my own closet, and I figured out, I have a gray sweater that looks like this. I don't have a red skirt like that, but I do have a plaid skirt, which gave me the inspiration for this design. The red skirt and the gray top, the gray sweater. It matches that baggy theme I have with my characters, because the baggy clothes look good on their body types. It looks so adorable. And, uh, and I gave her, like, these boots, because I, I, have a boot, I used to have boots like that. I don't, but I used to have boots like that. I don't have any more, but I used to. So, um, so yeah, there's not much to say about that. I didn't give her a personality to her, but I can imagine her being best friends with Molly. Imagine her being one of Molly's best friends. All these fish live in the same area. Like, all the fish I drew so far live in the same tank with each other. And that's about it. There's not much to say about Daphne other than I had a very uh, unlucky time drawing her. Molly and Daphne were the hardest characters for me to draw. But anyway, I'm proud of the outcome. We are, I like the way her face came. It looks really cute. And that's the way the Daphne Weber. That's her, that's her um, fish design. That's the fish I based her off of. Now we have one of the main, main characters. His name is Angelo. The, the freshwater angelfish. And Angelo is one of the main characters of my series. I might animate, I might make this into a comic or animated series, but Angelo is one of the main characters, like Goldie. 
Angelo is like, unlike the rest of them, he came from the wild. He's a freshwater wild angelfish. So Angelo, his backstory is he had a, um, the whole series about them collecting these pearls, like these, like pearls, like, like rainbow pearls that can give them any power they want. The red pearl, he picks the red pearl. The red pearl gives him teleportation powers. And, um, the red pearl, um, and he teleported himself into the, into a fresh pet shop to escape the villain. And, he, and meanwhile, his friend, um, which is going to be showing in a couple more pictures, got kidnapped. So after his friend got kidnapped, his goal is to get help and find a way to get to his friend. The teleportation pro can't teleport you to people. It'll only teleport you, teleport you to a specific location you want to go to. So one day, um, so after he's been dominated, it has to be chosen to be the, to be the protector of the pearl. So one day, his, he got, one day, um, the, the whatever people that tried, I didn't make it up yet, whatever people decide to choose him to be a pearl, people found out and they killed his girlfriend. And it's a pretty dark story, I'm making it kind of anime-ish. So they killed his girlfriend and now he's out for revenge, kind of, not really. But he is trying to, the only way he can protect, his, protect the people he cares about now is to protect the pearl. But right now, his friend, best friend and partner of Tackleton Back to Furrow, um, Spencer. Spencer Neo, um, is another character I'm gonna show up later. It's gonna show up later. Got kidnapped, and now the whole story is about, the whole season, this whole first season is about him trying to find out how to get, how to save Neo. Spencer Neo, I'll call him Neo. I don't want to like his first name, so I'm calling him Neo. So, Angelo, um... He's one of my favorite characters to design. Mostly because of the fish beard I have on him. Like the little fin beard. I just love the fin beard. I don't know why. And I didn't... And I did a, this picture I copy wasn't the same picture I have on here. The original picture had um, the same fin as him. But I got bored and I just decided to do uh, whatever, find whatever picture of an angel fish I could find. But, yeah. Here's Angel... Here's Angelo Fisher. Next fish. So this is going to be a last fish of the episode. So this fish is a Neo, Neo Tart Tartara, which is um, Angelo's um, friend, Spencer Neo. My grandma helped me come up with the name, helped me come up with this character, because it's the name and the character and the wit and what gender he should be. So Neo, um, I can imagine being like a calm, chillax kind of guy. Unlike uptight Angelo, he's chillax, he's nice, he's calm. But then he gets kidnapped in the beginning of the series, you don't see much of him in the beginning. Until later, until next season, I might draw. I might make it, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. But I decided to, um, I didn't really finish up all the colors of him, I just got lazy over time. There's another fish I'm supposed to be drawing this series, but I forgot to draw him. So I might draw it in part two of this series. If you want me to. That being said, um, there's going to be a part two of this series, so so make sure to leave a comment what pet fish you want me to draw next, after Neo's done. And there's not much to say about this character other than he's a Neo Tar, I never created a personality from other than him getting kidnapped. He might be another character inside the tank, inside the, inside the um, place he got kidnapped in, but whatever. That's all I got from him. So, this will be a part two soon. So, stay cool, stay dignity style. Hope you enjoy my fish pictures. Bye!